hi guys welcome to today's tutorial yeah today so we'll be talking about to we'll be taking how to make uh, this beautiful fascinator of course you guys have seen the fascinator on the thumbnail so you already know what we are going to be doing today so i've actually modeled this base and i have some pieces of cinema around me so i feel this is the best time to actually put it to good use and also we have our feather and our pleated crinoline of course i'll be showing you some other things yes uh, we have a cinema bias strip which is already formed and uh, we'll be using the coiler to actually strengthen it again because it's not ironed yet so it's not um ready for use just for me it might be ready for use for you and also we have uh, a, a embellishing things uh, or tools that we'll be using and of course our feather so basically i'll be stretching this and before using a coiler to do what i want to do on it so and um, aside from that this species of um, cinema we have around we'll be using it to make some lips to embellish our fascinator so i'll be cutting out some um, a, a square shape and um yeah, yeah, in a cinema, you have what they call the via uh, the horizontal and the diagonal. So, or you can call it the vertical and the diagonal. This um, pattern helps to determine what can what you can actually use it for. So, but if you are not sure of what to do, you can enroll for my training. We do one month training for beginners, and um, if you are already into millinery and you feel you don't understand what you've been taught, you can as well enroll for this training. It starts anytime you want it, actually. So now, for me to form the sleeve, I actually had to spray some little water on it so to form make it a little bit soft, and uh, it's not like you have to spray too much just little then you start rolling at the tips to form the roll rolly edge or for the leaf and that is what i'll be doing all around the leaf and actually form the leafy shape and um you know our leaf will be formed so aside from that i will also be stretching my cinema strip so it should also be able to give me what i want basically i'll be using it to cover the edges of the fascinator that's the fascinator base so that um, it will all look uniform so you can see the essence of using this coiler you can see the part that has been stretched and the part that wasn't stretched and you can see the difference the part that wasn't stretched is a bit fatter than the part that was that is uh, had undergone undergone stretched or that has been stretched so basically that is the essence of it and also it makes it look more strong and stiff so that um, whatever you are going to be using it for it to be much more defined you understand so basically we are done with that and um, um, at times if your cinema if your if your base is circular I think you should also consider folding your um, strip bias strips in a circular shape so that it can give it can make sure that the base relaxes very well while you attach your bias at the hems of your fascinator if you don't understand please do enroll for my training you will understand better so basically that is it and you can see that we have actually finish rolling this sleeve and i'm also using my coiler like the coiler in this tutorial is a major thing that you can actually do something with you more like you we are talking about the coiler here because it can actually help you to do so many things now i'm using this coiler to actually tighten the edge of the strip uh, those um leaf often times i know that you would have rolled the sleeve and uh, you see it losing at the tip you'll be like oh is this what i'll keep doing you no know? you can't do undergo such stress you know i'm always <laughs> at your service i'm always i always got your, your back so basically what i mean is that you can actually use a coiler to secure or seal up the tips and um, of course you can see what i'm actually doing you can also use this big leaf to form two leaves now but we won't be doing that i'll be giving you something also that we can actually get uh, the double leaf from the big leaf now i have those lilies and um they are looking so pretty small and pretty if you also want to learn how to do this enroll for my training i'm not trying to advertise for my training but it's something that you should also consider why you're if you're a beginner in this um in this field 
so basically that is it and um for this one you can see what i'm actually doing on the sleeve yes you necessarily you don't have to just always have a pressing iron around you you can always use this coiler to def get a defined edge for your leaf and uh, you can see just a simple fold once a fold a once folding had actually been able to give me a beautiful leaf like this just because i had to seal up the edges now you can also form two leaves from this big leaf and um forget about stitching because this coiler can also help you to seal up the center of the leaf and all you need to do is do what attach on your fascinator base so basically what am my interest in this tutorial is just to make sure that things <laughs> to i mean to make sure that um <laughs> To make sure that things are much more easier while you are doing your fascinator you understand so basically that is it and we are done with all the things we'll be using to embellish now let's work on our fascinator base first of all we have to cut the millinery wire of the size of the same size for the parts of the bias strip we have actually cut i mean for the part of the base we have cut and uh, when you measure it gave me 14.5 so i'll be adding an additional inch to give me 15.5 inches and that is what i'll be cutting from the millinery wire of course i've cut it out and i've sealed it so the next is just to attach to the hems of the uh, fascinator base so after that we'll be moving on to covering and okay we'll be moving on to attaching the elastic band i know some of you would have covered your by um, what is it called your fascinator base i mean you would have covered the hems of your fascinator base before remembering that you had to attach the elastic band, band if such things happens to you please let me know because at times it does but basically this is the best time to actually attach your elastic band especially when you know that you'll be attaching it at the hems of the fascinator base so after attaching i'll also be showing you how to cover i think how to embellish oftentimes i don't really show how to embellish because every other person everybody have the sense of style so showing you how to embellish might not actually be of great impact but if it does let me know at the comment down below and also if you enjoy this particular tutorial let me also know at the comment down below and uh, if you're just new in this first say family if this is your first time of watching any of our video clips thank you for watching thank you for clicking you're welcome to face a troop and also i will encourage you to guide to please subscribe to this channel and keep viewing all the videos that this channel this channel has actually provided and for you to see much more videos in future i will also encourage you to please hit the notification bell right beside the subscribe button so you always get notified of every time we upload new videos so right now back to our tutorial yeah we are done fixing the millinery wire to the base so basically what we need to do now is to attach our elastic band like i earlier said so that um of course it should be able to sit on our beautiful uh, customer's head or if you are to do that for yourself it will be able to sit well on your head so but sometimes some people just attach a comb in uh, on the fascinator base basically if you have a straight hair that should also work for you if you don't even have a straight hair it should also work for you maybe you like packing your hair all that or drop your hair or you know you know what I'm talking about so you can see how I'm actually fixing the elastic band and afterwards will be covering the with a bias strip um, my apology I was meant to actually um, make sure the bias strip is in a circular shape but you know we'll always be able to use this no matter what happens but for your sake for the sake of next time that's for the fact that you want to practice this why you're ironing your bias strip arrange it in a circular um, in a circular way so that by the time you are attaching it it will rest very well on your fascinator base so basically that is just it and um uh yeah like i said you'll be using a u gum as any all purpose adhesive will do if you don't have any u gum around you so you can see that i've actually fixed my bias strip now all i need to do now is to embellish 
this um, facilitator base and um, make it look so beautiful now we are done with them uh, what we'll be using to embellish we are done with the facilitator base now we'll be working on our pleated crinoline now I'll be taking a 32 inches long for this pleated crinoline reason being that um, the round uh, the round feet way I'll be placing this pleated crinoline will be 16 inches so I want to double it should in case because I really want it to spread out by the time I'm, uh, I'm placing it on my base so what am I going to do now what I'm doing now is just to pull together the crinoline that's a pleated crinoline to make it um, to reduce it to 16 inches you understand me so whatever you're doing this is just a tip that um, I feel it to be useful to you maybe you want to spread out something maybe you want to form a brim now the measurement you'll be using to form a brim should be I don't know if if, if <laughs> you are getting me basically the measurement you'll be using to form the brim should be two times what it will it will allow it to form let me just forget about that i think i think i'm not really communicating at that part so now i've actually folded now i want to make sure if it's up to 16 inches but it's uh, i think it's lower than that so i'm trying to spread it out a bit and when i feel that is uh, i've gotten what i want all i need to do is secure at the tip that's why right, not in it and then cut off the excess thread I'll also be using the excess thread, nothing waste in my house or in my place of work. I keep everything. So the excess thread I'll also be using it to stitch the the to join the the crinoline together and also to tack it down to the base. So the threads are not wasting because I don't even have the color of the thread in the house. So it's a very good opportunity for me to use this so that everything is going to rhyme. So now I'm fixing it in the needle so I can be able to join the two ends of the pleated crinoline. So guys, while you're watching while I'm knotting the thread, while you're watching while I'm knotting the thread, please do not forget to follow me also on Instagram at firstse underscore collection underscore. And also we have a Facebook group where you can also get to meet so many people and get inspired with the lovely work people are doing at um, Lovers of Hearts and Fascinator. It's a Facebook group. And also follow me on my Facebook page, which is firstse collection. So what, how you will join the two sides or two ends of this crinoline is just to overlap it a little bit then you stitch through. So you don't really need to overlap it so much that it should be so obvious, you understand? Just little overlapping is enough and um, you can now sew through. Then when you are done sewing through, of course, we'll have to start tacking to the base. And um, afterwards we'll be embellishing. So look out for all the steps and I hope you guys are enjoying this video. And like I said, if you finish watching this video and you find it useful, I will endeavor, I will encourage you guys to just click on the share button also to actually share to your um, to other people so they can actually get to learn things like this. You understand me? So now you can see I'm done um, overlap. I mean, I'm done stitching. All I need to do now is to fix it on the base. And of course, if you don't have pins in the house, you can also use what I used to hold the crinoline down to the base before tacking. So I have my thumb pins, like I said. My thumb pins are going to be doing that for me. And because um, imagine, imagine uh, I don't have a long pin that can actually go around this. It's just a short, short pins and I don't want to go through stress. So this one had actually done me what i wanted to do so using a thumping is also in this tutorial had come handy it's not just for blocking so afterwards after doing all this of course it will be it will enable us to actually form the shape now determine the front and the back of your fascinator base so that you'll be able to know how to actually fix this um 
crinoline now i've actually determined that should be my front and where i'm actually folding the crinoline now will be at the back so also while i was even um, stitching my elastic band i considered that so always always consider all the things i just noted while you're doing your fascinator so now i want this um feather to relax well on the base so i'll have to be folding I'll, I'll have to be bending it so the bending of the the feather stem had actually given me the opportunity or had made this feather be able to rest on the base before it was just spiking up like um, something else so afterwards we'll be tacking since we've been able to pin down this will enable us to tack properly and um, I'll be showing you guys the finished work of course so yeah yes you can see now this is the finished work and um, of course it's neatly sewn you can't actually trace the thread because um, I was I actually used the, the same color of the thread so now for you to be able to attach your feathers first of all create a hole in the on the feather then you can now pass your needle and thread through it while you stitch to the base of your fascinator so afterwards every other thing comes and then um, your fascinator is ready so i will also be showing you guys how i actually embellish this and uh, i think those videos should be of great use to you and um, if you like it give me a thumbs up if you feel there's something that is missing let me know at the comment down below and if you feel i should continue with this type of tutorial where i just show you how to make how i made a fascinator let me also know if there are some topics you really want me to dive in please let me know because at times i get so confused that i don't really know what you want so let me know what you want and i please i'm not saying people should just come go and be looking for one fascinator or the other and be you know yes i encourage you guys to do that yes but um just tell me and um, first please why don't you just talk about this kind of thing on in the next tutorial then i can just create a fascinator that can actually that includes that topic you understand me so those things also helps the channel to grow and also helps you to get more knowledge so thank you guys for actually watching and uh, if you enjoy this for um, this uh, tutorial give me a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if this is your first time and um if you like it of course share it and also share on your insta story so people can actually know that something like this is actually happening on youtube you understand so basically that is it and uh, i love you guys for actually watching i love you guys for subscribing i love you guys for always being there you've been um you've been an inspiration for me even though some people see me as someone that inspires them yes i thank you guys for being there and um for the fact that i sell modes i'm also going to be using this opportunity to tell you guys that we sell modes but for basic um specific type of modes not the regular ones you see in the market especially in nigeria so if you are if you're faced with uh, maybe you have a, fa a, a beautiful fascinator to make and you've carved it out and you feel there is no way you can find the mold you can send it to us we will be able to carve it to you for you and send to wherever location you are so that is it for that for this tutorial i love you guys for actually watching thank you for watching and um remember to subscribe do not end this video without subscribing love you guys see you in our next video and catch ya bye